Hello and welcome back. So now in this video we will add a script to our vehicle then our vehicle will drive and the player can sit and get out of the vehicle as well and this vehicle will also hit damage the enemies okay so for that let's create a script by the name of vehicle controller let's click on this vehicle and right here let's attach the script now let's open this up and in here let's remove all of that and as you know moving a vehicle is really simple in unity we already have added the rigid body and then a wheel collider to our tires and now making that tire spin and moving our car is really simple first of all we need a reference to our all four wheel colliders so for that we will create a header by the name of wheels collider let's say public wheel collider and let's name this as front right wheel collider and in the same way let's do for the others as well for the front left wheel collider and then back right wheel collider and back left wheel collider after this we need a reference to our wheel transforms so we will create a header for that and then in here we will say public transform front right wheel transform and in the same way we will do that for the other as well for the front left back right and back left wheel transform and with this also we need a reference to our vehicle door so we will type public transform vehicle door and after this we need some variables for the vehicle engine in order to move the vehicle forward and backward so create a header by the name of vehicle engine and in here we will create a public float by the name of acceleration force and by default the acceleration force will be 100 f and after this we will create another float by the name of present acceleration and by default this will be equals to 0 f okay after this let's create a function in order to move our vehicle forward and backward so we will say void move vehicle and now inside this function we will say front right wheel collider dot motor I think it is named as motor torque and we will equal that motor torque to the present acceleration okay and right down below let's equal the present acceleration to the acceleration force which is 100 and multiply that by minus input dot get axis and we want to get the vertical axis which is the w and s button or you can say the forward and backward arrow button okay on that two buttons we will move our vehicle forward and backward by using the acceleration force which is 100 this is basically you can name this as speed if you want okay the maximum speed now right here let's also call the front left wheel collider dot motor torque and equal this to the present acceleration as well and after this we will do the same for the back right wheel and back left wheel as well because we want this uh, vehicle to be a four wheel drive okay if you want uh, just front wheel drive then you can actually remove this okay like that and if you want the back wheel drive then you can remove this one as well but i want a four wheel drive car because as you can see our terrain is a little bit mountainous okay we have up and down so we need a four wheel drive right here so that's why i am setting the colliders motor torque to the present acceleration so it will basically rotate 
all of the types now let's just save this and after that at the top let's create an update function and in the update function we will call the move vehicle function that's it now save it and our four wheel drive is ready let's click on the vehicle we need to provide all of the things right here but our tire will not rotate right now because we are not updating the transform of the tires okay we are just saying that move this car with the present acceleration force okay so first of all we need to add the uh, colliders so here is the right collider and here is the left then here is the back right and then back left click on this one Okay, make the eyes small and now click on the vehicle again let's add the front right wheel transform then front left then back right and back left right here we need to add the vehicle door here is the vehicle door here is the acceleration force 100 now if we play the game both of our vehicle and player will move because uh, from now the player is not inside the car okay we will type a code a security we will add a security to our vehicle that when the player is outside the vehicle then we don't want the vehicle to be moving forward and backward or to the left or right now if you press the w button you will notice that the vehicle is also moving as you can see and if you press the s button you will notice that the car is moving back backwards and you can notice the present acceleration is increasing and decreasing now the stopping of this vehicle will not work because we don't have any stopping function for this okay here is the enemy so now as you can see the vehicle is moving when we press the S button it moves backwards and when we press the W button it moves forward okay and as I told you we have created this a four wheel drive let me add a comment right here this is a four wheel drive okay if you want the front wheel drive a drive or you can say AWD then you can comment these two and if you want the back wheel drive then you can comment that upper one as well now let's make this a back wheel drive you will not notice anything except the speed and when the vehicle struck, uh, stuck somewhere then the front wheels will not work only the back wheels will work okay for now you will not feel the difference but when we will update the transform of it and then we stuck somewhere for example right here in our front wheel will not work the back wheels will not rotate but we don't want that we want the four wheel drive you can test this by yourself okay and you will know the difference so now we have added the four wheel drive vehicle in the next video we will add other functions in our vehicle